What's up guys, welcome back to the Oregon State Dynasty. We are live once again with another game here. Closing out the regular season, we've completed eight games in the 2024. Wow, this is flown by. We're in 2024 now, 8-0, number four in the country. As you can see, we moved up one spot from last week. We were not, actually no, we were number four last week. So we're staying uh, firm at number four in the country here this week. Still climbing, making our way towards number one, number two, trying to get back to our fourth consecutive national championship. In our way today is Colorado. The Buffaloes are gonna welcome us to their stadium there in Boulder, Colorado. We're gonna go on the road against the three and five CU Buffs team and pit our eight and zero record against the Colorado Buffalo. So we're gonna get into that momentarily. Before we start, there's a couple things I gotta do and these aren't like housekeeping things or anything like that because I took care of all of those in the recruiting episode I posted a few days ago. I'll tag it right here. By the way, check out our last game. We went on the road and just pummeled Cal. Check out the game. I'll tag the full game here and then the highlights will be right after as well. Those are like the 15 minute version of the game. If you don't wanna sit down and watch the full 30, up to you, whatever you wanna do with your free time. I'll tag them both, go check them out. But there's a couple things we gotta do before we start here first of all got to go to the depth chart we're going to mix up the offensive line because we've been getting sacked way too much and uh i'm kind of sick of it so we're going to go ahead and slot micah mccray back in for john ward there left guard I i'm just sick of taking sacks and uh more often than not it's ward that's getting beat and allowing the sack so we're going to put mccray back in there he's actually an all-american coming into the year so you know he was there to start the season but i wasn't really impressed with his play early on it's time to put him back in the game. So he's back there, he's starting left guard. And I think that's the only change we're gonna make. There's nothing you can really do here. We need McCray on the field of left guard, so we can't really put him in a right tackle, right? So we're gonna leave that stuff as is. That was the only change really I wanted to make for this week, depth chart wise. Um, just kind of something that's been annoying me lately. Let me, let me go ahead and change the camera here too so you guys can see, there we go. All right, so we uh, hit the depth chart. Um, I'll check the slide, I'll show you guys the sliders right now. I always do it closer to the game if you guys miss it, you know, whatever. Uh, so highs and everything, eight minutes, uh, speed threshold 35. Um, that's like, you know, if your players are slow, they'll actually be slow. If they're fast, they'll be fast. You know, it makes it fair for everybody. Got the penalties there. By the way, these are the J Kit sliders. I'll tag the description below. You can find these online, but they're very difficult and they make the games a lot more competitive. Um, so yeah, haven't really had any competitive, very competitive games this year, but you know, a couple. Uh, here are the CPU stats too. So if you want to call it, take a look at those. Um, pretty realistically set. The gameplay has been much better with these sliders, not gonna lie. So that's that. I just wanted to do that for the depth chart. We took a look at award semifinalists in the recruiting episodes. So go check that out for that. I'm trying to keep these intros short. Um, no players of the week, anything like that. So not much to look at there. Um, I guess we can take a quick look at who's playing up in the Pac-12. I'm trying to keep this part of it short for you guys, just super quick. Um, so we're in first in the Pac-12 North. I think we pretty much have it wrapped up. Uh, over there, it's USC and UCLA battling it out for the South Division. We'll figure out who we play in the Pac-12 Championship. It's going to be USC or UCLA. It's usually USC. In fact, it's only been USC. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to play somebody different. Here's what's going on this week. we got Army at Wazoo. That should be interesting. Um, I only care about the Pac-12 right now. Uh, Cal at Oregon. Okay, pretty cool. A North Division game. That's irrelevant. This one's pretty irrelevant. And that one should be pretty good, too. USC Stanford. Stanford just beat Oregon a couple weeks ago. So those are some games in the Pac-12. We'll keep an eye on the scoreboard at the bottom of the screen if ours gets out of hand. But like I said, we're taking on Colorado. And uh, let's see. Kirk's picking us, of course. Why wouldn't you? We're better on paper. Only thing... No, we have them in everything. I don't know why the turnover differential says they're better because they're negative five and we're even at zero. So uh, are they good at anything? Uh, pass offense? Okay. Other than that, though, they're... You know, 100th or worse in pretty much every category. B minus all, uh, overall, B offense, C plus defense. Got a couple of recruits coming in on a visit. Here's our season stats. We'll go right to left here. You got Shane Austin, about 1,700 yards, a little over that. 17 touchdowns, 16 picks. He's played very well lately. Ryan Reynolds, 850 on the year, 7 per carry. That's pretty healthy. Getting near the uh, 1,000 mark there, the millennium mark. Excuse me. Uh, Dwayne Turner, 33 catches, 587 yards, six touchdowns. Not having a huge year, but you know he, he's making his impact in the return game, the, the ground game, and then you know receiving as well. George McGuire leading us in tackles, the strong safety with 40. Marcus Mobley, one pick. I think a lot of guys have just one pick this year. And Jonathan Joseph, nine sacks this season. Four of those came in one game 
earlier this season. I can't tell you which one exactly. I think it was Arizona State, if I had to guess. Um, as far as Colorado's stats go, it looks like they got a pretty good quarterback. I feel like he's come in off the bench because about 1,200 yards at this point in the season is pretty low. Um, good running back, though, about six per carry there, 500 yards, and one nice receiver here, this Hicks guy. So we're going to have to keep an eye on him. Uh, defensively, no one really scares me there. You got a couple of guys with some picks and sacks, but nothing crazy. Here's our schedule right here. So we played quite a few ranked games, Penn State, Army, USC, UCLA. Um, yeah, haven't played one since UCLA. And to close out the season, we're going to take on all three of our rivals. If you're new here, we got Washington, Washington State, and Oregon. And uh, we got CU, of course, before. No more bye weeks. I think we uh, ran through all those. So, yeah, we got to close out the season strong with hopefully four wins. Here's their schedule. So they lost to Colorado State. They beat Cal by a touchdown. They got blown out by Nebraska. Beat Bowling Green. Actually beat Stanford. That's a good win. That's a good win. Uh, we only won by, well, like a touchdown there or something like that. It was pretty close. 12 points, maybe. Uh, they lost by a field goal to Oregon on the road. Lost by three touchdowns, four touchdowns to USC, and then quite a few by UCLA. So, yeah, they're kind of getting ran on in the South Division, but they're pretty good, respectful. They're not a pushover. We're going to have to come out and play our game, as we always do. You know, the sliders can always make it wacky. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what go we'll see how it goes. Um, not really expecting too much of a test today. Last time we played at Cal, uh, not Cal, Colorado, we blew them out. I'll tag the game right here. Uh, we'll see if that's uh, much of the same today. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Hands on it, run, buddy, run. We got two blockers. Let's go, man. Pick six, Dave Motley on the second play of the game, baby. Let's go. Couldn't have drawn that up uh, any better, really. Uh, I thought he was going to trip and fall after he got that pick, but uh, no, he kept going and scored. So, great way to start defensively. Let's keep it going. They always like to work it towards the sideline. They hit the short route. That's fine. Brings up third and five. Let's go. Got stuck playing defensive line. Of course, I don't like to be there, especially on third down. Couldn't cover. And they get the first down. Good response right there, though. Let's go, fellas. Damn. Nice hit by Pickens there. I'm just trying to play coverage with a linebacker, and I keep switching off the guy I want to cover with. Out routes. Gotcha, bitch. Nobody's open. Mobley gets in there, hits him as he's throwing it, falls incomplete. Fourth down. Great stop, baby. Let's get it. They're going to kick the field goal here. Okay. All right, so they're going to kick a... About a 60-yard field goal. So we've got Turner back there. He's got like three kick sixes this year. There's no way this goes in. Yeah, that's off. And it's returnable. Here we go, Dwayne. Another kick six right here. You know what to do. We got one one guy to beat down here. And yeah, he's gone. All right. Yeah, this game's over, guys. Pick six and a kick six to start. And he actually had a nice hurdle to get into the end zone there. Let's go. Bro, the defense has to be tired. I mean, it, we haven't even run an offensive play yet, and we're up 14 to nothing. This is unreal. They're playing at such a high level, and it continues right here. Oh, my. How did he get out of the backfield? Out route. Oh, he's going to be open. Good route. We got the tackle. He's short of the first down. That's a great play by Hubbard right there. Good recovery. Third and one. Let's get off the field again. 
Zig route, in route. He's going to the flat. Ah, he's got that one open. Might have to start playing safety. That was a cutback route, I think. I didn't think it'd be a five wide set, but it is. Zig route. Oh, pick that! Damn, I don't know where he was going with that. We got a flag down. Alright, we got a pass interference for some reason. I didn't see it, but that's going to give him a first down at our 26. Wheel route up the sideline, out of bounds. Good play, fellas. Let's go! Drops that easy pass right there, third and ten, right where we want him. Not a screen, thought it was. And he can't get it off. There's a fumble, and early Carter picks it up, and he has to beat this guy. Damn. Brought down at midfield, but Carter, I think, had the sack. Or maybe it was David Carter. Let's see the replay. Yep, so David Carter had the pressure. He forces the fumble. His uh, his line mate there, early Carter, scoops it up. I think that's his first fumble recovery of his career. I'll have to double check that. However, it's our ball. We can finally uh, run some offensive plays here. Great stand by the defense. Now we got a replay, of course. It looked like a clean strip to me. Well, that was the quickest uh, replay I've ever seen in my life. It's actually going to be a incomplete pass, which will give them a chance for a field goal. They didn't even like show a replay there, so that was weird. But whatever. Now they're going to have a 43-yarder chance to get on the board right here. Although the way he kicked that first one, I'm not too confident he can make this one. Uh, looks like he's got it. Yep. All right. So Colorado gets on the board, 14 to three. Uh, we're coming out hot. We ran this play against Arizona State. First play of the game, and we scored. Uh, probably getting too cute, but it's the first play of the game. Let's go with it. Why not? Got it off. Ah, didn't get the blocks. Let's go, Reynolds. Have a day, bud. Good hole. All right. All right, we're going Z-spot to the left side. Never ran into the left side. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't work out poorly. Got it. First down. Oh, what was that throw? Man, we killed that. Come on, y'all. Oh, missed. Good tackle. It's a screen pass, so... Pick that. Ah! Make the tackle. Good. Let's go. We go three and out. We come back and get a stop. Defense steps up in a big way. Now we got to give him a much needed break. Come on, y'all. Boom. Got Beverly over the middle on the slant. Damn. They shut that down. Reynolds, oh my god. Got a hole. Oh, there was a hole. Jeez. Gonna have to punt it again. Two drives, nothing. Let's go. Oh, what a hit! Jonathan Joseph, baby, laying the boom right there. Let's see that one again. Damn, and he was playing D-tackle on that play, too. He's usually a DN. Post, got it. Going to the sideline, and he's short. Bruh. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Yo, that was the glitch of all glitches right there. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I can't believe what I just saw. That dude caught the ball three yards behind the line of scrimmage. His, like... Like, the, the dude actually, like, glitched out. And then gets the first down. That's unbelievable. Alright, whatever. Weird way to end the quarter. 14-3. Um, to three. Got a pick six and a kick six. 18 total yards of offense. We got to do better on that side of the ball in the second half.
Nothing. Good defense. They always like to throw that slant route over the middle. Slant. Another one coming this way. Why is he wide open? Gosh. Screen. Oh my god. So I whiff on the tackle. McGuire makes the tackle but gets called for a face mask and that moves the sticks again on third down, bro. Alright, Colorado gets on the board again. Of course, I was playing defensive line again. Two different plays there. The, the glitchy play on that third down that gave him a first down. And then the face mask on third and four from McGuire. Um, Colorado's still in this ball game they could easily be winning if they didn't make a couple big mistakes to start the game um we got to get going offensively it's been a terrible start so austin midline read option got some room good blocking god it's so slow nine yards though good game Good hole, good run, runs over the safety, gets the first down. Ten more for Ryan. Drags open. Parker, got the catch, breaks the tackle, has the first down inside the 20. Let's go, man. We've got some cooking right here. Here we go. All right. All right, William is supposed to pull right to left. Didn't block anybody. Uh, we still get six yards, though. Let's, let's get into a different personnel set here. Hole. Oh, up the middle. That's six. Let's go! Good blocking up front by Reynolds, leading us to the promised land. Austin in for six. Option. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere to go. They do that, it's the same play they ran in the beginning, and they hit that same route against the linebacker, and this time they get the first down off of it. Gotta go zone maybe next time. Oh. Ah, missed again! Oh my god, he's gonna score too? That's completely my bad. We uh, we got off the block. I didn't think we were going to get off of it. And then I uh, missed the tackle. He takes it all the way off just a dinky little read option there. Taken from the three-yard line. Man. Got a hole. Nice. Well blocked. Really well done there. Nine yards for Ryan Reynolds. Let's go hurry up. Come on, Shano. Up the middle, got a hole. Oh, big one. Go, go. Let's go, man. Big run right there on third down. Should have it. Ah, got a little bit. All right, that was uh, that was a trip to the moon right there, fellas. Got it. Got the blocks. Man, you got to do a better job there, man. I can rock with sense. Especially when Turner's wide open. Oh my gosh. We're hoping for man-to-man -man coverage right here. It's not. We got the drag. Oh, get up, get up. All right, we're gonna go for this. Boom. First down. Way to go, guys. No. I hit A to hand it off, bro. Damn. Yep. I was just staring Turner down all day. Obviously, there's going to be a guy there if it's a cover four, you dumbass. The out route was wide open, as I said it would be. Didn't look at it at all. Got Van. Boom. 
All right, we're in business. We're in business. Huge conversion right there. They sent the zone blitz. I'm pretty sure the seam's open against uh, that pretty much always. If not, at least for that play, it was. We're in business. Down to the 13. 11 seconds left. All right, here we go. Probably the last play of the half. We're going to call timeout regardless of what happens here. Play for the points. Austin has a chance at this. First down. Time out. Time out. All right, he gets stopped, but we had that timeout in our back pocket. Still got a second left. Knock that in. All right. Woo! So 24-17 at the half. It started out 14 zip. Offense has kind of struggled today so far, but uh, we're doing enough to win right now. Obviously, much closer than it should be. We got to uh, come out in the second half. We get the ball to open up. We got to come out and score. And uh, get going defensively, too. We're kind of struggling on that side of the ball today, too. Uh, some mental lapses, bad plays. We'll clean it up here in the second frame. All right, second half. Let's get it. Got to open it up big. Let's go, Dwayne. How about a kick uh, return touchdown? That's how we opened it up last time. And, oh, man, if we got by that guy, it would have been how we opened it up this time. But good starting field position. Let's go to work. Big hole for Reynolds. Good way to start right there. 11 yards. Let's go, man. Got a block. Oh, go! Oh, risky throw. We find Pennington. Let's go, man. All right, they're loading the box up pretty heavily. We're still going to run. And we got the touchdown on the right side. Let's go, man. Let's go! Told you! Go, Hubbard! Let's go, man! Second pick six of the day. Second one on the screen. This time it's Kenny Hubbard. Let's get it. Counter, finds a lane up the middle, but only two yards there. Well done by David Carter. Find something underneath, and they get the first down. Got to make a better tackle there. Come on, guys. Got to wrap up. Draw, and uh, Chad Melton, Jonathan Joseph team up for the tackle for loss there. Well done, fellas. Ah, hits the slant behind the one I was covering. That was Underwood who got burned inside the five with the first down. Right there, nice job. That's a good play there by Mobley, crashing on that football, getting his hand in there. Oh, we got a false start. Let's go, man. That is so bad. They get a false start uh, with uh, third and one at the one yard line. So that pushes them back to the six. That's tough, man. Ah, oh, we did get in there, but not before he gets the pass off. And uh, Colorado responds with another touchdown. They've played well offensively today. Got to give them a lot of credit. They passed all over the field on us. He's to the 20. He's out to the oh, we got a hole. Oh, he's gone. Dwayne Turner, a kick six in the first ten. No, god damn it. Not there this time. Get out of the pocket. Take it yourself. All right, we can get out ahead and get these blocks in the poles. We have a touchdown here. And we do. And... Reynolds, let's go! Oh, what a freaking run! Like I said, we get the blocks outside, we got a touchdown. Reynolds breaks a few tackles and uh, puts the exclamation mark on that one. Three-man rushes. Pick that! Oh, Burnett! 
We read that like a book. Burnett drops a pick. Probably could have been a pick six, too. Good defense, though. At least he got hands on it. Off of the flat. Mobley's right there. And every single game, he's got to lay one big hit. That was it right there. I feel like he's had a couple more today. Third and eight. Let's go, y'all. Out route. Uh, hits the in route against Small and gets the first down. Option. Nice tackle. Screen. Bruh. Get there. Oh, Cotton. And you missed the tackle. Golly. He misses the interception. Then he misses the tackle. Gives him another first down. There you go. There you go. Way to go, guys. Seriously, we got nobody else over there. He'll return it from the three. Oh, get out of there. Face mask. Alright, let's go. Got him. Go, Dwayne. Look at Reynolds. Look at Reynolds run, man. Breaking three tackles. Wanted the face mask penalty, so he wasn't too happy about that, but still gets five yards. Keep for Austin. We got the blocks. Can we get the sideline? Yes, we can. And Austin is gone. Touchdown. Let's go, man. Not to sound cocky, but this is why we're so hard to beat. I mean, if it's not, if the defense isn't playing well, the offense is. If it's the uh, defense playing well, the offense not good. You know, the defense bails us out because they're playing well, right? It's just there's rarely a game in which both the offense and the defense don't play well. Bruh. Screen. Got a TFL, or at least a tackle in him. Let's go, Patton. Look at that tracking speed, baby. Coming from this sideline to that sideline. That's a stop. Let's get it. Oh, we were so close to blocking that. Bruh. Turner. That was that was terrible. I don't, even, I don't even want to talk about that. That was the worst display of football I've ever seen right there. Uh, we're going to take this one to the fourth quarter. All right, so 52-31. Uh, how many points we score that quarter? Like 28? Uh, we're in a shootout here in Boulder. Looks like we're going to come out with the W. We've got to play a uh, good last little eight minutes here. Work some clock on this last drive. Maybe score one more time to put it away. And uh, go back home. Good block. Oh, look at that. That's how you do it right there, man. Oh, we almost got the three. Bro, this dude was on the ground! Look it! Oh, there's no way he gets up that fast! Oh my god, give me a break, man. Whatever. First down, fuck y'all, let's go. Get out in front. Well done. I'm going to make a risky play here, but it might uh, end up being a touchdown. Yep. Told you, roll the dice. It's a touchdown, though. Bitch. 
Nothing. And he's brought down in the backfield. Jonathan Joseph, his second sack, oh, first sack of the day. Second TFL. He's had a great game coming alive here down the stretch. Bruh. Pick that. What the f Across midfield. Inside the 30. With a 10. And they make the stop at the one yard line. Bro, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Yeah, of course he catches that too through contact. It was, it was just that kind of day, man. That's so bad. We go cover three. Underwood's right there. He just kind of puts his hand out there. Dude goes all the way from there two to our two. Now they're gonna give him this onside kick. Watch. Oh wow, that's surprising. Nice run, John. Got him again. You kidding me? The kick is up and it's through the upright. Caught out of the open. Gotcha, bitch. Let's go. Big sack right there. There it is, baby. 62-38 win. A shootout in uh, CU Boulder there, but we come away with the win. Move to 9-0, and we'll return to divisional play to close out the season here. I'll talk to you guys at the end of the, uh, the, the post-game thing. We'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Once again, we got the dub 62-38. Move to 9-0 on the season. You can't see it, but I can. And we'll get back to divisional play. We've got three rivalry games. To close out the regular season, Washington, Washington State, and Oregon. Not actually, yes, in that order. Definitely in that order. Um, and I'll be back with those momentarily. I'm going to do a recruiting episode for you guys. And then, of course, I'll get the highlights up there pretty soon as well. But good win. High scoring game. If you guys liked offense, you definitely liked that episode. Uh, if you did, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub. We hit uh, 200, so thank you for that. Next goal is going to be 250. So let's run it up right now. We're at 202. Let's start uh, getting there, getting up to that uh, number, you know what I mean? But uh, again, thanks for the, thanks for watching the video. I uh, appreciate the like if you decide to like it. I hope you do. And again, I'll be back in the next couple days with the next game. We'll be taking on Washington. I believe it'll be at home. Uh, pretty sure it will be. Uh, so yes, we'll, we'll figure it out. But stay tuned for the recruiting episode. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.